What if there's a star that could make the universe way older than we believed? The James Webb Space Telescope found a star that challenges our idea of the universe's age. It might not be 13.7 or 13.8 billion years old, like we thought, but instead, it could be a massive 26.7 billion years old, or maybe even older. This discovery could mean that the universe is twice as old as we previously believed. Enduring all this extra time, incredible things could have occurred that we didn't account for in our calculations. This exciting revelation comes from a study by Rajendra Gupta, a physics professor at the University of Ottawa. If his findings are correct, they could completely reshape our understanding of the universe. Professor Gupta may have found a solution to the mystery of the universe's early galaxy problem. In the summer of 2023, James Webb Space Telescope discovered six incredibly old and peculiar galaxies that don't match our previous understanding of the Big Bang. Scientists have traditionally estimated the universe's age in two ways, by calculating the time since the Big Bang and by studying the oldest stars using a concept called redshift. Redshift is when light from an object moving away from us stretches as it travels through space and time, causing the light to shift towards the red end of the spectrum. Scientists have used this redshift to figure out how old the universe is. In 2021, they were using a model called Lambda CDM to estimate the universe's age at around 13.79 billion years. However, these six galaxies are causing a stir because they seem way more advanced than they should be. They existed only about 300 million years after the Big Bang, but had the mass and maturity typical of galaxies that should be billions of years old. These galaxies are also much smaller but incredibly organized and have an astonishing rate of new star formation. Researchers think these ancient galaxies were once starburst galaxies, producing far more new stars each year than the most active galaxies today. This doesn't fit with the old Big Bang theory. There's another theory called Fritz Zwicky's Tired Light Theory. He was a Swiss astronomer who proposed in 1929 that the redshift we observe might not be solely related to the distance of light, as previously believed. According to this theory, the shift of light towards the red spectrum can also occur because light loses energy during its long journey through the universe. For a while, this idea didn't match what astronomers saw in space. But according to Gupta, the mistake in how we've been measuring redshift could explain why some stars appear older than the universe itself, along with those six puzzling galaxies. If it turns out that redshift has been giving us wrong information about the distances and ages of stars and galaxies for decades, it means we need to rethink our whole understanding of early cosmology. This would also mean we'd have to reevaluate what we know about the expansion of the universe. Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty because the old theories seem flawed, and no one has all the answers just yet. Gupta has another idea based on the work of physicist Paul Drax. Drax's theory suggests that some fundamental rules governing how particles interact may have changed over time. In simpler terms, it means that light and matter might have behaved differently in the early universe than they do now. This could explain some things, but it also brings up new questions. So. How do we figure out the oldest things in the cosmos and how our universe formed, especially when looking at these strange and distant objects? It might take some time, but without preconceived ideas, we could eventually establish new guidelines for understanding early astronomy. The big question of whether the Big Bang truly happened in the real age of our universe is still wide open. One thing we can be certain about is that even though scientists label these six galaxies as impossible, they are concrete entities. The James Webb Telescope isn't trying to fit its findings into existing theories. It simply presents what it observes, leaving researchers to grapple with the mysteries. The advanced technology in the James Webb Telescope can help us learn more about these early galaxies. To refine Drax's new ideas, we'll need to closely study the formation of early galaxies spanning from a few hundred million years to several billion years. This way, we can uncover why these galaxies seem so developed for their supposed age. Gupta's calculations suggest that the universe might be way older than we initially thought. This could help explain some of the greatest mysteries, like the discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope and the star that's older than the universe itself. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is like a cosmic time machine. 
it has allowed astronomers to peer deeper and more accurately into space than ever before. NASA and other nations involved in the mission have dubbed it a journey to the cosmic dawn. The telescope has revealed galaxies that are so ancient and developed that they don't match the idea of the cosmic dawn at all. Over more than 50 hours, the telescope captured light from 44 galaxies that formed within the first 500 years of the universe, assuming it's 13.8 billion years old. These impossible galaxies aren't alone. More and more very old and unusual galaxies are being discovered. Recent data from the Webb's observations even indicates that the deeper we look, the more galaxies we find. Some of these galaxies were highly organized, incredibly bright, just 200 million years after the supposed Big Bang. This challenges the previous Big Bang theory. According to the standard model of cosmology, at this age, there should only be single stars, groups of stars, or basic structures of galaxy formation, not fully developed galaxies that seem billions of years old. Additionally, these ancient galaxies are emitting an astonishing amount of energy into space, about 10 times more than scientists expected. To understand this phenomenon, consider the deep field image taken by the MIRI instrument on the James Webb Telescope. In this cosmic snapshot, we see bright spiral galaxies up close and much older galaxies in the distance. Almost all these objects are galaxies. When scientists looked closely at three of the faraway galaxies with strong redshifts, they found something surprising. These galaxies were emitting a lot more energy than expected. The data suggests that these galaxies formed about 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, back when the universe was only 1 to 5% of its current age. The big question is how these galaxies could produce such an incredible amount of energy. Scientists have two possible ideas. Some of these red, energy-emitting sources might be black holes or massive stars, possibly even larger than the brightest hypergiant stars in the universe today. To find the answer, astronomers used advanced computer simulations to trace the universe's evolution from the first stars and galaxies to the creation of essential organic materials for life over billions of years. However, these simulations couldn't logically explain why very old galaxies were giving off such extreme amounts of ultraviolet energy. This is where Rajendra Gupta's theory, which involves changing fundamental physical rules in early space, comes in. Scientists are currently testing Gupta's idea, and it may hold the key to unraveling the true mystery of the universe's origin. Gupta's hypothesis has the potential to change everything we know. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries.